morning, guys. So it's about 6.30 a.m. and I just did the check on all the snakes. I'm getting ready to load them up in the truck. I'll be up at Tinley and I'll start setting up for the show. First video from the show, we got Miguel AEP taking out the Dark Knight. How cool is that? This thing's freaking beautiful. Thank you. This snake is, in person versus the pictures, is just Dude, a different animal. Way, way different. You know? Some more than others, but this one definitely is that way. The face is just mad. What's up, guys? Hanging out with Reptile Chip. JT here. Logan. Logan. Logan, from Logan. What's the new stuff here, man? Look at this. this. Is ready, chip. ready chip. That's where it's at. And what we've done is we've taken the block here, we've expanded it, we've rewashed it, and then we've dried it, we've cured it. You have to excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse from yelling last night. It's been it's um. been crazy here, so <laughs> it's all right. We're all losing our voices. You guys know we use Repti Chip. Pretty much exclusively, we love it. Yep, best Batman impression. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Whatever you want. I don't even have the mask. Everyone will know. <laughs> oh, you're exposing me. Come on. Guys, welcome to Tinley, the JKR booth. Come see us. Guys, Daniel Allison, Constriction Addiction. Check him out, he's awesome. That animal's phenomenal. gorgeous. Yeah, it, it colored up great. I love the head on it. It's absolutely fantastic. Nice. With no OD in that animal fire, yellow belly, I mean, that thing just really is starting to color up. We've got the black pastel uh, pin here. You do need an ultra glove. I mean, it's just Ooh. out of this world. That is smoking, man. The Mojave ODYB pie. The thing I love about this is the head being a completely different color from the pattern down the body. I thought that was really, really neat. Really neat. That is a gorgeous animal. Love it. All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog, and I hope you enjoyed that Tinley footage. Um, you know, the show was so great, and I was just shocked by the number of people in the door. It felt like um, it felt like the fall Tinley, which is always kind of the bigger show, but this year they opened it up to the full room and the numbers in the doors were absolutely staggering. This hobby, this industry, this whatever you want to call it is just growing like crazy. And it's, uh, it's so obvious when you go to these shows, just the level of excitement and the number of people. And it's really, really cool that more and more people are enjoying these animals with us. Um, but you know, we get so busy. We're, so we're, we're at the show, Chase and I are pretty much just engaged with people with you guys the whole time so it's pretty tough to get for us to get footage from behind the table like that but it was so awesome meeting all of you guys and the posters were an absolute hit so before the show I pretty much right up to the time I got on the airplane I was packing posters packing posters we had three major trips to the post office in the three days before the show giant boxes full of posters and I just really really appreciate it if you guys haven't got yours, you can see it, catch it in the link, so check that out. Um, and at the show, more than anything, just meeting each one of you guys, talking about your love for the snakes, and uh, just really getting to share that back and forth with people that love the same things we do, it's amazing. So this week, we're right to the vlog. We got some really amazing snakes in from the United Kingdom. I don't often import snakes from Europe, but sometimes there's something that's just so great, you gotta go get it. So let's check those out now. Okay guys, so we have two really, really high strung animals here. And f the funny thing is, is that I don't know what it is, but somehow something about this evening because um, earlier in the day they were just perfectly chill, but now they are both worked up. So, but you can just see how beautiful they are. I'm gonna kind of keep hands off them just to uh, not stress them out and not bother more than I need to. So over here on this side, we have an orange dream puzzle. Absolutely, incredibly beautiful. And over here we have um, a yellow belly puzzle. Just really, really incredible morphs. Now, the puzzle gene is something that I've never shown on my videos that I can think of. 
um, because I have very, very few of them. But that does not mean I have, there's lots of amazing genes out there that I have very few of. Um, and this is one of them. The puzzle is a really incredible recessive mutation. It really reduces pattern um, and it does a little bit something different, you know, just like a lot of morphs. It does different things when you put it with different things. Um, but a lot of times you get this really kind of either banded pattern or almost like a chain link pattern. You can see on the back of this one, see how all the sides are connected and you have almost like a square spotted. And so it really does fit like a puzzle piece, like puzzle pieces in a puzzle. Really incredible. I just love the reduced faces on them. They're really kind of putting on a little dance for you here as they track my hands around. Um, but yeah, I just want to share these with you guys. And I bought these from, I want to make sure I give props to the person who made them. Um, these are from Tony Wilson in the United Kingdom. And that's what's so cool is that I was able to get these all the way over here from the United Kingdom. Tony was just, I'm absolutely honored that Tony is willing to entrust me with these two incredible animals. This is a boy and this is a girl and we look forward to working them into some really, really cool projects uh, in the upcoming years as we grow them up. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is a really crazy clutch that actually hatched right before Tinley, and then it shut out where we were gone. I was racing home to see them. Crazy, crazy. This is from the Highway Pie Project. Let's check them out. Hey guys, so if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've already been spamming you guys with lots of pictures of these because I'm just so dang excited. They're pretty incredible. So the pairing on this clutch, see it's just the color on that thing's incredible. The pairing on this clutch was OD, highway pied to a inchy yellow belly pied. You're probably saying already, why haven't you showed us that OD highway pied yet? Because it had the one major flaw that comes in pies, which is so high white. Um, so the, main, the, the OD highway pied was just the head pattern and a tiny bit on the tail. I was like, all right, so we got to put inchy in there. We got to fix it. And so this clutch came from just that desire to be able to see what the, um, what the OD will do in the highway pied. And so we had to put Inchi in there. And then, of course, we know Inchi is amazing in pie. It adds so much gold and everything. But look at what it did to this animal. So this is just the Inchi Highway Pied. Very long anticipated. Look at that. So just like the, uh, the yellow belly pies, the Highway Pieds come off with all of this jagged you know, pixelation, just like a yellow belly pied would or a gravel pied or it has that same look, but of course the Inchi brings in all this pattern. The highway has a very unique pattern to it as well, which translates amazingly into the snake. Incredible. So that was one of the highway pieds. That's the Inchi highway pied. And then we got the full deal as well, the OD Inchi highway pied. And so in this one, you see the color difference. Now this one does not have as much of the purples and reds and stuff that that one has but this one has a lot more of just generalized brightness. And you look there, it does have some really crazy color in some of those spots. Really amazing. I think both these will age extremely, extremely well. I'm really excited to see them go. So that was a boy, that's a girl. Both amazing animals to hold back and see what happens over, over time. Now, of course, since we had yellow belly on both sides of the pairing in the OD Highway Pied, in the OD Highway Pied, and also in the Inchi Yellow Belly, we got a couple Ivory Pieds as well. So that's an Ivory Pied right there. I actually believe this is OD Ivory Pied, just gets based on the color of it. But you see here, it's got a nice distribution of pattern. You see the yellow. So Ivories aren't really white. Ivories are an off-white. And so when you make an Ivory Pied, you get the pure, pure white of the Pied mixed with the off-white, yellowish um, saddles of the Ivory. And then we have, here, let me have a DJ. So well, hold on a second. Let's keep these on the screen together. We have the OD Ivory Pied and then the OD Inchi Ivory Pied. So look how much pattern that has. Just a couple places where the white crosses all the way over the back. So, you know, this is not as maybe as crazy cool looking as these, but just an absolute genetic powerhouse 
for you know helping with the odds on making some of these hard to hit combos in the future. There you go. And then one more from the clutch to show you. Look at that. So this is an inchy gravel or yellow belly pie ball from the same clutch. Again, you know, you're gonna be really hard pressed to tell the difference between a gravel and a yellow belly at all, but especially in a pied, but uh, turned out really, really amazing. Again, all that NG has all that really, really cool pattern, great golden tones to it, just beautiful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog footage we did get from Tinley. It was just so crazy busy like it always is, but it was great to meet so many of you, and we're already looking forward to October, Tinley, where we're gonna get to meet even more of you, hopefully. And have you guys just stop by, hang out, talk snakes with us? It's awesome. It's, it's great to interact with you guys. Justin? So I also want to run an idea by you. So put in the comments. I'm looking at doing some videos here in the future, a little bit about the investment side of the business. And I'm not going to be trying to sell you guys on the investment. There's so much kind of mystery surrounding, you know, whether or not ball pythons are actually a money maker or just a huge waste of money building a collection. So we can just want to talk about how that can maybe work and what kind of pitfalls you can avoid. Um, we all would love to be able to do this and have it pay for itself, yes. right, at the least. So watch for the future. We look forward to seeing you next time, YouTube.